everybody, welcome to another video. I hope everybody's doing well. Today I want to show you guys some of my favorite Don Mattingly cards. 84 Fleer Don Mattingly. Not a great set, but it's Don Mattingly and I have to have it. I didn't have it when I collected as a kid. 1984 Don Russ in a PSA 9. I just got this card about a year and a half ago at a card show. I have had a beat up version of it for a long time. It was always a hard one to get and I'm really happy to have this card. 84 Donruss is an amazing set. Really, really one of the nicest sets of the 80s. My favorite of my Don Mattingly is because I had this card since I was a kid. I put this card in, actually not even in anything. I put it in a box and I had it hidden, you know, and I found it years later. And uh, it was almost perfect to me and I sent it in and I'm so happy to get a nine back because it's really tough to get nines in 80s cards, unless the card's really, really perfect. Good luck getting a 10 nowadays. 1986 Tops, what a cool card. Truly one of my favorites. Um, you know, you see a lot of Mattingly cards with him at first base, but you don't see that many with him at the plate. One I like even more, 86 Tops box panels. This is a hand cut card in the PSA. These are really, really tough. Even if you cut the card perfectly, there's often a lot of damage to the bottom of the box, and that's where these cards were. What I love about these cards is that it's kind of like a parallel and a variation in 1986, and they weren't really trying to do that then, so. Here's a really rare 1989 Topps insert. It's uh, batting leaders. I believe these were in the Kmart blister packs. Really, tough because this card was always at the top meaning people saw this card and because of where it was situated it would be uh, susceptible to more damage this is a great card i would i i don't think there's any i think this might be the top pop in this card i could be wrong um if there's a 10 i'd be really surprised but just a fantastic card found it on ebay one day and absolutely had to buy it the favorite 93 Dominus elite series uh, elite Dominator, actually. Um, nice card. These are really pretty. Uh, everybody at that time trying to outdo each other with fancy looking cards. And, you know, at the time, I wasn't into cards like this, but nowadays I think they're great. Here's a 94 Pinnacle Museum Collection Parallel. These are amazing. Love this card. Uh, There's another card I subbed. So happy to get a nine on this card. Uh, not easy. And to finish it off, this is one of my favorites in my collection now. Here's an 84 All-Star Game program. Um, these apparently were, you know, in a, in a page in the program. And there was a sheet. You could cut them. And look at how perfect this one is. I found this on eBay. I got it for a good price. One of my favorites of all time. And it is from his rookie season, so that makes it really cool, too. Just a really, really nice looking card. Anyway, I hope you guys are well. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.